five, four, three, two, one. We're back. Yeah, let's go, rock and roll. Let's go, rock and roll. Super Bowl soon. Super Bowl. We should make prediction and win. We don't even know who's in the Super Bowl yet. Oh, we know right now. We have uh, Kansas City. Kansas City, yeah. Who are they playing tomorrow? Are they playing line to true lines? Yeah. So which the game would already happen by the time this comes out. Yeah. So the Lions won. (laughs) <laughs> okay, Lions you, won. Because everybody wants the Lions win. Okay. Because they always have, they long time don't have Super Bowl. I think so, ever. <laughs> Let's see, when's the last time Detroit Lions won the Super Bowl? Let's see. And who are the other two teams playing? Uh, <clears throat> hmm. San Francisco. Gonna play with somebody now. Who is left yet? So Kansas City play with Detroit Lions. Yeah. San Francisco play with somebody. Fuck, who is the fourth? Who left? Fucking check who left to fucking. I have no fun. You're the one that started talking about football. I know, just quick check fucking who left. All games. Tomorrow. 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 Uh, the- Let's see. NFL. Yes. Okay. We're opening. We got San Francisco is playing Detroit. Oh, so San Francisco plays Detroit. Okay, so the, I think so Detroit's going to win. Okay, who next? Kansas City is playing Baltimore. Ravens. Ravens, yeah. And who else left? That's it. No, I think so. One left. There's it's no... like a crazy, like crazy card over there. They said it's like a five. No, games. this is the last two games. Oh, okay. So, season. So, what do you think? You could gonna be in Super Bowl. I think it's so. bad money. Super Bowl is gonna be Kansas City plays Detroit, and then Kansas City wins. I think so. In Super Bowl, gonna be Kansas City play uh, San Francisco. San Francisco win. I feel like Baltimore is going to sneak in there, though, randomly. San Francisco Super Bowl champions. Were you saying what? Kansas City. Okay. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Play next year. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. What do you think the score is going to be? Oh, score going to be fantastic. It's going to be close. It's Fantastic close. Okay. Yeah, so gonna be 44 San Francisco, 28 Kansas City. That's high. Yeah, but there's good games. Mm-hmm. I think it's probably gonna be like tw- the same like with Buffalo, like 27, thir- 23 or something like that. It's gonna be close. 27 for Kansas City and... 23 for Detroit. Oh, you think it's Detroit going to be in yours open? I think Detroit's going to make it the Super Bowl. Apparently they're playing really good. Apparently, yeah. If they're making it this far. So I picked up San Francisco. Yeah, you picked the city where everyone shits all over the place. And they have a shit map for San Francisco. (laughs) Poor city. Yeah. And then randomly when Chinese diplomats came to San Francisco, they cleaned the whole city up magically. Good, because this is... When they could have been doing it the whole time, but they left the shit on the roads the whole time. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it's okay. I, I believe it. I mean, shit happened. Yeah. Okay, so... San Francisco has a poop problem where people poop everywhere on the streets. What, is toilets as well? See? Sa- you could look up San Francisco poop map. Okay. So it gives you San Francisco poop map, legend for poop. So it says here on Google, it says here on Google, a newly released report mm-hmm. out of San Francisco controller's office found nearly half of the city's commercial sidewalks 
had feces on them. So, okay, let's give it to this fucking- So you're cheering for a city <laughs> who shits on their own city. Yeah, maybe they- Literally. Maybe if, they, if they win, maybe they have like a queer sidewalks kind of thing. They have a poop problem over there. No, they have Why that. people shit on the street? I don't fucking know why. It says here, the report is the result of two surveys which evaluated over 3,000 streets and sidewalks in 2021-2022 for cleanliness and the appearance of maintenance. Cleanliness was rated based on the presence of litter, graffiti, and broken glass. The core citywide survey looked at the residential areas and the key commercial areas Surveyed, looked at public sidewalks and streets, particularly the downtown region. Yeah. So they were even looking at other stuff. Broken glass and feces were the two most common health hazards found citywide. So broken glass and poop. So a lot of people were breaking their assholes with bottles. <laughs> no, they broke the windows and they shit at the same time. Yeah. You say, oh, fuck, you break the window, let's run. I can't run after shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it says here, feces was a, oh, another notable observed hazard and approximately 50% of the street segment in key commercial areas, 30% in the citywide. And they're like a sweet sweeper to so start sweeping this shit from side. Well, it's crazy because it's California. California. They pay the highest taxes, like 55% taxes, everyone. There's over... What's the population of San Francisco? Same. Seven million people. You want to take a guess how many people live in San Francisco? I'm guessing it's like Toronto size, no? San Francisco population. Three million. No. It's like Higher or low? Lower. Oh, fuck. One million. No. Two million. No. Higher or lower? It's lower. 1.5 million. Lower. One million? Lower. 500,000? No, higher. 700,000. Higher. 800,000. Yeah, a little higher. 850. No, lower. 850. <laughs> <laughs> lower. Oh, 817. No, lower. 815. Yeah. Oh, 815,000 no, people. No, we show. Live in San Francisco. No. And fucking half of them are sh pooping on the street. So okay, so... Give them toilet paper. Give me beer. <laughs> what? Okay. I fucking have enough. But that's shit. who you picked. You yeah. picked the shitty. I'm changing pick. Shitty team. I go not thinking. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm fucking who can win? I'm fucking Ravens gonna win. That's a good choice, Ravens. Okay, so I'm changing from San Francisco to Raven. Yeah, one of the highest crime cities in the United States. Okay, wait. I'm you want to hear the stats on that? No, Detroit is even worse. No, Baltimore is worse. But he was raving as more. Oh my God! You're so optimistic. Look today. at let's let's see this highest San Francisco shitting highest ravens killing holy fuck cities. So you you have option. You want to go to San Francisco? You get shit up. Yeah. But if you go to Raven, you can shut. Oh fuck no. Okay. Oh, actually, on this list it says Detroit is one above Baltimore. Of course! But Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee is the number one highest crime city. Memphis like in the country, country. Yeah, it's Tennessee. It says here, Memphis, Tennessee faces significant challenges in terms of violent crimes. The city consistently reports of high rates of homicide, assault, and robberies. Ooh. Detroit has long been associated with high rates of violent crime. Of course. And ranked one of the most dangerous cities of, in America. Of course. You said, oh, it's beautiful over there. Bal <laughs> Baltimore has a particular high violent crime rate with 177 homicides in the first six months of 2022. Much How many? 177 yeah, they're, they're, murders yeah. in Baltimore. Yeah, they attacked the train station. Six months. Yeah. That's not even the full year. The people still counting that. And Baltimore is big with gang violence. Okay, forget gang, it. Gang, gang. So the Baltimore going to win because there's gang, gang members in his own team. Where is this city? There's a city called Alexand oh, Alexandria, Louisiana. Also one of the most dangerous cities. It's interesting. Miami. Oh, let's see. 
What is the most dangerous city in Canada? Edmonton? Most dangerous... Toronto? No, Toronto is like half dangerous. <laughs> half dangerous. Yeah, daytime you stay, nighttime you get tired. Okay, number one. In Canada. In Canada. It's Winnipeg. No, I was close. Edmonton really good. It says here, Winnipeg, the second highest murder rate in the country. <laughs> Two people. <laughs> The loca location falls with assaults, robberies, and muggings are common in Winnipeg. Okay, where's the second city? Surrey, which is in British Columbia. And where's the third city? Red Deer, which is Alberta. Oh, everything is there. Greater, no. I, Sudbury, number four for the worst... Most crime city in Canada. Where's Sudbury? Here. Somewhere. Sudbury's here. So oh, six, no. six hours. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. And number five is Hamilton. I told you, Hamilton is the worst. Yeah. From this area. Yeah, Hamilton's pretty bad. Sault Ste. Marie. Kel Kelowan. Which is in BC. What about Dildo? <laughs> Dildo is not on here. Uh, Lethbridge. Oshawa. Brampton. Thunder Bay. Cold Lake. Where's Cold Lake? It's like the one lake. <laughs> it doesn't even have a description for Cold Lake. But number one is Winnipeg. Oh, fuck. I need beer. Okay. Fucking you kill shit. Fuck it. I'm leaving. Let's do a beer review. Oh, let's see another amazing beer. Review. Today, I have a special beer. Oh. For special people? It'll get you quacking. Quacking? Yeah, it's going to get you quacking. Oh, ducky. This is the beer we're trying. It is called Bird Dock IPA Ducks. Is this beer? It's produced and packaged by Bird Dock at uh, whatever address, Toronto, Ontario. So this is Ducks. Yeah, but that beer is... Ducks uh, IPA. IPA. It says a juicy and citrusy IPA brewed with our best hops, except... Balance flavors of tangerine, pineapple, and mango. Wow! That looks like the winner of this year! So it says here that Holy it shit. should taste like tangerines, pineapple, <laughs> and mango. <laughs> Let me tell you how this is gonna taste. It's gonna so taste like that's what it says on tangerine the who was fucking on the street in the shit. Then it's mixed up with mango. Mango, yeah. And what else is inside? Pineapple. And a fucking pineapple. Okay, I have First to... of all, have you ever seen a duck eat any of those fruits? Yes. A mango. Pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah, like I see. A the... duck? Yeah, like she flew through the pineapple and eat the, the spikes. Eat the spikes of the pineapple. Yeah, like they have this. Yeah. And then she make home inside. Like she make a hole inside. So the duck did. Yeah. Okay. Why did the duck make a home? No the... idea. I see pineapple with the duck inside. A duck in pineapple. Yeah. Quack, quack. What's your favorite duck? Do you know the different types of ducks? Canadian goose. <laughs> <laughs> What's your, favorite, what's your favorite type of duck? Canadian goose? What do they do? Quack quack too. Yeah. No, that's a goose. Yeah, what is this uh, talking like? What a goose talks yeah, like? Yeah, quack quack. Uh, yeah. Quack quack quack, uh, quack quack quack. Google gives you noises. You want to hear what Google says? Oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Whoa. Don't fucking try it. Did Don't try it? No, <laughs> I smell it, but it smells like I said. Oh, shit. Hmm. Hmm. Go away! I opened beer. He's coming right away. No. Yeah, they do. Like gooses do, like a honking. But uh. Go away. Let's drink. Okay. Find the gooses. But yeah. What can I So your favorite your favorite duck is a goose. Yes. <laughs> like a big goose. Big goose. Yeah. Like nice goose. Okay. Okay, we're opening. Well, okay, smelling, run away. I smell what I smell you... the hops in the IPA, because IPAs are rough sometimes. <laughs> I'm smelling. What do you smell? Yeah, I smell your fucking beer shit. 
Do you smell any pineapple? I smell some fruit. Orange. Yeah, some, some. Or sorry, some. tangerine. Mango. I smell pineapple. Pineapple? Yeah, I smell. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take it easy. Yeah. Wet, yeah, you're squirting pineapple everywhere. <sighs> <laughs> it's good. Okay, I can't wait this fucking shit drinking. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know what's going on with this Canada. They don't know how to make beer. <laughs> it's a strong beer. No, it's bullshit beer. Yeah. It tastes like... It tastes like cactus beer. Fuck me. Exactly the same. Like it's fucking dry, sour. Dry and sour. Okay. Sour fucking water with sucks. Uh -huh. When you're gonna wash it three weeks. Uh huh. And you dip it in some fucking pineapple juice. Yeah. No, terrible, terrible. Fuck this shit. Terrible. You sure you don't taste the mango? Oh, fuck me. You know what? Stop buying this shit here. They don't know make good beer. I, you're supposed to buy German beer, you say. Yeah. Because I say to you, they fucking no taste like beer. Beer tastes like German dub or German beer or Polish beer. That's beer. Uh -huh. You buy this shit. So what is fucking... They Duh, say, ducks. We, yeah, they fucking say, we're going to put that picture on the fucking shitty mango beer. Where the beer is never mangoes. <laughs> yeah. It's only in Canada. Look, the ingredients list. Con yeah. Contains barley, wheat, and oats. Yeah. That's it. And what is the mango? To apple pie? Apple pie? I mean, apple. Yeah, where's the apple pie? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck Fuck is me. the apple I pie? Know, I, I think so. They should fucking take the license plate from them. Uh, the license plate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no ducks. <laughs> No, no fucking beer for Canadian making. They're like idiots. What, what is that? I just like how some company yeah. is gonna make like a million dollars from this. Why? Because who buy this shit? LCBO, and then they sell it. That's how it works. No, I think so. They get it for them. When they sell it, they send the money then. There's no way that LCBO buy this shit for With this most guy. products in stores, yeah. the stores give their price up front to that company and then they sell it later on it's usually how inventory works you usually buy the inventory ahead of time and then you sell it at a higher price to make your money as a store it's usually how business Whoa. business works like that yeah yeah stop it stop it no so yeah, that beer is terrible. Uh huh. Fucking minus on one to ten, minus seventeen. Mm -hmm. Never drink this. I can't even drink. My stomach hurting. Yeah. Holy fuck! What kind of bullshit is like duck shit? It's duck shit. Yeah, ducks IPA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, P. Indian Pale Ale. Yeah. Fuck. Oh. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. The best IPA. How did you even pick it up this thing? Where did you go? It's a store. That's what it's that, like. You can't buy that something fancy from a European that shit? That was fancy. It has a duck on it. Oh my god. Just shoot me now. You don't like ducks? Like what? Yeah. What's yeah, your... American goose. Let's try this again. What's your favorite duck? <laughs> Canadian goose. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look up. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Bless you. Thank you. Different... Kinds of ducks. Sounds awkward. No, we got different kinds of ducks. We got a mollard duck. We got a marbled duck. You could do a canvas back. A whistling ducks. <laughs> do you like these ducks so far? No. No. 
I like I'm a, a Canadian goose. Look at an Indian runner. Oh my god. A blue Swedish duck. I'm quitting the Brunegat <laughs> today and thank you for coming. Nice to see you. Beautiful how many years we do this? Six? Too many. What? <laughs> <laughs> because that's ridiculous. So what happened? Okay, so <laughs> so I want to talk about this phenomenon because I'm talking the phenomenon. Do, 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 do. I'm, phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. 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 Yeah, we have this phenomenon. Do, 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 do. What is the phenomenon? The, f- the phenomenon. <laughs> phenomenon. The phenomenon. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Is people people identifying as cats? Oh fuck this shit! Because I'm hearing more stories now of people identifying as cats. You should grab the people who identify dogs and eat the. No, th- that's the thing. There's no such thing as people identifying as dogs. Dog face? It is literally only as cats. Why? It's so they can. Why? Do... Why is the problem? Why does nobody want to be dog? I want to be cat. It says, so there's an article here, okay? Oh my god, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to hear the article? I'm full. I'm gonna take like a champ. Let's go. <laughs> okay. It says here, the rise of the furries, how schools are allowing kids to identify as cats, horses, and dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Godzilla! <laughs> Ah, I'm drinking a duck shit beer and I'm blowing the fucking fire. So it says here schools are allowing children to identify as cats, horses, and dinosaurs. <laughs> what kind of dinosaur? Jim, Jimmy said he's a dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur Jimmy are? Yeah, he... T Rex. Ah! Okay, take it easy. Yeah, put your little arms away, bitch. No, like, don't bite nobody, because that's got consequences. I have to get tranquilizer and shoot the dinosaur. But it says here, a a state secondary school in Wales. Yeah, in uh, in England. Yeah, yeah, England area. At least you know where where Wales is. (laughs) One student said, is said to meow... When asked questions by the teacher, right? But did you find out this all bullshit happened over there, not here? It's happening here, too. Yeah, but happened here, it's probably like he have like a well of like a cousin. Here, it's happening in workplaces and universities. Overseas, is like in elementary schools. So, so here, our problem is adults think they're cats. I can't even think about it. I'm wasting my breath. Talking about this stuff, what is so stupid? You understand? It's not stupid. These it's are terrible. One day you'll have a coworker yeah. that's gonna be named Whiskers. Yeah. And Whiskers will request, "I want a litter box." Will he switch the fucking name to Whiskers? Yeah. What you officially? Th- you think, like, I want to be Whiskers. Meow meow. <laughs> Mister Whisker, meow meow, come here. Mm-hmm. Why he need a litter box? Why he no pee in the toilet? No, because cats don't pee in the toilet. You can train the cat to pee in the toilet. Which I guarantee you, I can find. Cat pee in the toilet. Can, can cats pee and yeah. shit in the toilet? Oh yeah, I see on the uh, YouTube videos. The can guy cats the pee? Cat or dog that was pissing in the toilet poo. and shedding. Oh, this is the top search on Google. Can cats pee and poop at the same time? Do cats pee and poo at the same time? No. No. Our cat pee on the floor and shit in the bag. <laughs> in, in toilets. Let's see. Honest to God, I have it nothing says, to do with this a, today program. Look! Ah! Okay. Google says yes, you can teach a cat yes, I saw how to perch on the edge of a toilet bowl to do their business. But even cats have their uh, limits. If you plan to let your cat go in the washroom, 
you will need to make sure that the top lid is always open and the bottom lid is always down to give the cat a place to perch. But it says on Google, cats, you could train them to use the toilet. That's what you should do. So the... that's what they should do at these workplaces yes. and universities. Yes. That they should teach the cat people. They're gonna sit on the toilet. You can sit on the toilet. No sit. They're gonna actually sit. Yeah, on the like feet. perch. Yeah, like a squat. Yeah, you're gonna squat. Squat on the, on the toilet. toilet. You're gonna break the fucking face. Why? Because the thing gonna break down because you said they're gonna. Well, toilet. that's a fat cat. Yeah. Oh man. Can we talk about something like normal, like uh, elections? <laughs> or worse. No, I wanna. F so, I just wanna see. Putin if said he won in Alaska, man. Yeah, but I wanna see if there's like. Uh, <laughs> before you cat perching on the top. Yeah, so they're basically just yeah. labeled as furries. Where's this aliens? Like from space aliens. Where they're supposed to come? 2027, they're supposed to come. And take this earth finally and. Put us to the places where we're supposed to be slaves for them. You want to be a slave to it? No, alien? we're gonna be. We we we. That's we, we like the for them pets. They left us here for a moment. They went to the space mm -hmm. and they coming back now. Okay. And they said they say okay now we're back to Elven fucking slave me. Slave me. Yeah, like uh, make me coffee. Look, you think it aliens, aliens like coffee? Aliens invasion 2027. Just text this. Okay. Gonna, what's gonna come? Okay. El, El, aliens space invasion in 2027. Okay. Alien invasion. 2027. 2027. Is this true? I got here. Okay, what'd you get? I just got an article on New York Post. Okay, let's go to New York Post. That's not so shabby fucking shit. What? New York is what? New York Post is like more respective to this uh, newspaper. Sure. Okay, let's go. It says here, a self-proclaimed time traveler. Yeah, he said. Who warned of an alien invasion. Yeah. Claims that said extraterrestrials have. Wait. <clears throat> wait for it. Arrived on Earth yesterday and abducted 8,000 Earthlings. A video depicted the supposed dystopia announced a massive 161,000 views, as well as a ridiculous from views. Okay. Now, well, where's this invasion? You say 2027. Does it have a date? It says the champion has arrived to bring 8,000 people to another planet, declared by some guy named Eno Alaric. Yeah, Eno Alaric. Yeah. yeah. It says the clip was posted on March 23rd, 2023. The so called interdimensional voyager. Yeah. Who claims to be from the year 2671. Ooh. Frequently posts about his apocalyptic forecast to his 400,000 TikTok followers. Yeah, see? It says here his latest vision of Armageddon, which has he's been foretelling for months in various clips, warned of a very hostile alien species yeah. known as the distance that are coming to Take back the earth. Yeah, see? It's a fight we will not win. Of course. Per one of the many videos which features trippy cosmic images and are set to epic music worthy of a Ronald Amateur Disaster film. Ronald Amateur Disaster McDonald. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so 2027, uh, it's coming. I hear this a long time from everybody. So that's when you think we're going to meet aliens. Oh, fuck. We're going to be slaughtered. Slaughter. Okay. By these fucking aliens. They're like seven feet tall. Uh-huh. And they fucking like don't care about us at all. We for them, we are like 
piglets in the fucking slaughterhouse. Piglets, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna eat us, rape us. Uh huh. Pet us with that. Yeah. What kind of meal would you want to be turned into? What? Like if an alien takes you. What oh, no, I don't want to be mean. What kind of meal? No, I'm not you think a meal. You would make you. No, I'm fucking disgusting with any kind of fucking you make me meal for me. I'm not good meal. What if the alien took you mm -hmm. and he fed you dinner and he's like, I want to like propose something. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to have dinner first. Yeah. So, so what do you think? Of, what kind of alien... Dinner. Alien steak or something? Or yeah, what, you, what if the alien pulled out like a weird fucking space monkey? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a monkey of COVID shit or something? And then he's <laughs> like, I cut it and made it like a nice sandwich. A space monkey sandwich for you. But it's good? You don't know. You're going you okay, to have to try so it. If I try it, they'll say, oh, it's good. And maybe it's like... He's like, if you eat this, then we can have trust, and then I can make a deal with you. Or propose a deal. I said, I have the same thing with you. I'm going to pull up my monkey meat, and the sandwich just say, eat this. And if you eat this, I trust you. Yeah, so you guys exchange monkey sandwiches. Sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. And then we talk. And then we, yeah. But what kind of proposal he have, what kind of proposal I have? What, or what do we talk you? The alien goes, I'm going to... Make a meteor hit this bank. Which bank? <laughs> this food bank? No, it's gonna be like he's gonna drop. Why do you need his armada? He don't care about. No, me. he he understands like that's value to the earth. Bank is money. No money is yeah. value, not bank. So he's like, I'm gonna make a meteor. Quiet. Hit the bank. Yeah. Swiss bank. And it's going to make it go... You're going to go in... It's not making sense. And grab whatever you need... No. ...to magically make a spaceship. No. And the alien goes, we're going to give you the ship. No, they have a ship. And you sell it. They have this different ship. You sell it to the U.S. market. To the U.S. And then they're going to think that there's aliens flying around, but they're not. To keep them as a distraction. No, I'm thinking you fucking need to drink this beer. <laughs> talking about yo-yos. I tell you right now, the aliens coming, we over. But what if they want to make like a deal saying we want to... Nobody wants dealing they're with like, us. They're like, we want to farm the ocean, but we don't want anyone knowing. They're probably in the ocean already. He said it's in Lake Ontario, the big base here already. For what, aliens? Yeah, they said this was the one time they were showing, like, this one pilot from the, they see it, like, he's going and shoo, went to the water and disappeared. And they say, oh, shit. But in the, in the, the water, inside the water, what is, like, uh, like what is the fucking like, water? It's, like, 70%. <laughs> Oof. So look at this. We have 30% on the land everywhere. Yeah. But look how big is the ocean. Uh-huh. Together, every water ship. So they like inside. It's humongous, they say. Yeah. And they say in an Arctic, I'm already fucking a lot of bullshit over there. Like was city before. Hell, even city before there was like, you know, cold. Okay. And now it's, that's where the Russian would play Alaska back because they won't heating up the land and take the ship moves. What does the Russians have to do with aliens? Because Why are you because doing they, this stupid transition? Because they always fucking... They have lots of shit in Russia too. They're showing how aliens landing and everything. Uh-huh. They don't even speak English. Yeah. English. Neither do the Russians. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Russians. Aliens. Yeah. A Russian aliens. Or Russian a... aliens. Okay. Yeah. Speak aliens. The Russians try to come speak here. Alien. They are aliens. You know yeah. what is alien speak as? Like like a like a like a, you know a clucking. Uh, okay. What do you call this language? Clucking. No, 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 they have they have the name. Remember, 
Yeah, yeah, South African. Yeah, but what is name language? They call this language name. I remember they said this. It's like, for aliens. No, for people. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's that's the called name, African language, the clocking name. Okay. <laughs> Let's like say clocking noises language. What is called? Clocking, clocking. clocking. It'll be clicking. Clicking, yeah, clicking noises. Clicking noises language. Noise language. Language. Where is from? Or something like that. It's called the co. Kohosian language. See, I told you. They already speak with aliens. It says here, are best known for their use of click constants as pho phonemes. Phonemes. These are typically written with characters such as like an explanation point Ooh. and a weird like double cross, like a cross sandwich. See, we talk about sandwich is sandwich. It says here clicks are double quite sandwich. Perfect. One is space monkey. One is <laughs> yeah. Fuck, we getting someone. Hold on, I want a translation now for. Oh yeah, say so like for fuck you in uh, in co Kohasian. Yeah, let's say Kohasian fuck you. Co to English. Kohasian. Translation. <laughs> it says here the name Cohesian. Co I hope I'm saying that right. Co Cohesian is a compound word formed with the native words Cohoi, person, and San, which is f forager. So, person who forages in the bush. That's what it means. What is forging? So, that's like the origin of the language. Yeah, the forging it's in the a, bush? So, it's a Bushman language. Oh, that's what it means. No, yeah, but the, go say hello in Bushman language. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, hi, 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 hello. Hello, your Bushman. <laughs> We'll see. We're gonna look this up. Maybe your phone doesn't talk. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fucking phone doesn't you talk. You need new model. Listen, we're looking at a fucking language that they won't even fucking write. No, there's clicking noises. Yeah. Oh, they know writing, nothing? No. Or how do they know what to click? <laughs> <laughs> and today, I'm gonna hear listen clicking noises. Bullshit, we know right. All right. All right. Let's we'll see if this. We know, right? Ready, stop. Clicking noises. <laughs> yeah, Google Translate won't even do it. It's like all these random websites you have to go on for it to translate. See, go. And they want fucking money. You pay to translate the clicking. <laughs> fucking goddamn it. Give me hundred dollars. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what you want to click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. That's right. That's peanuts. <laughs> 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 that's John John with the vagina. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's the new cat in town. Yeah, fucking yeah. Yeah, he likes the <laughs> shit. He likes the shit in a litter box. So the aliens coming fucking hit the bank <laughs> in Sweden. Yeah, <laughs> in Sweden, so you could sell ships to the U.S. Yeah, yeah. Volvo Sweden Sweden ships. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome today's show. Yeah. We we learned about aliens today. Well you don't want to learn about ducks. No fucking goose. You said your favorite duck is a Canadian goose. Yeah, it's like like not too small, not too big. Yeah. 
And then you can hunt them here. You can! No, they said no, you can go to the jail for that. No, you can. No, they say no. Canadian goose is uh, prohibited from shooting here. Well, that's a lie, because I know you can buy a tag, and it's $15. For how many? For one goose. That's... You you're really allowed... can't go. Please, stop it. Pepe. Can you hunt Canadian geese? Says your Canadian geese can be hunted, but it's complicated with the Immigration See, Bird Convention Act 1994. See, you can't hunt them. No, it says here, although the Canadian geese are protected by federal government, See? if you hunt during the hunting season with, with special hunting parameters, you'll be fine. Yeah, but if you run over because goose crossing road... You're going to be charged for fucking... Okay, thing. you can't just purposely run over a Canadian goose no, but remember and be like, there's dinner, I'm no, going to take it home for dinner. Imagine if they cross the ground and the one guy knows stop and he hit the gooses. <coughs> you go to the jail for three years. <coughs> Let's see, what's the punishment for killing a goose? Yeah, like in car accident. Yeah. What's the punishment... For killing a Canadian goose. So it just says here, outside of approval hunting yeah. season, or without a license hunting and killing Canadian goose, it's a minimum fine of $5,000. Usually it's a $500 deductible on your compensation car insurance. Oh, so you just have to pay five hundred dollar deductible for car insurance if you hit a goose. That's it. Ready, stop. So you save money hitting a goose with your car, then you do shooting one by accident. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's the best law in the whole world we have. Yeah, it's protected, but also you're allowed to hunt them, but you need special permits to hunt them. But you can't just randomly kill them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So what's the Canadian goose hunting season? <laughs> Can I, uh, thanks, it's gonna, Thanksgiving. It's going to say all year round. So it says here Canadian geese and cackling geese. You can hunt for them from September 1st to December 16th. September? December? September 1st. September, November, December. December 16th. Oh, so you like two months. So that's why you have the window for hunting. My, it's labeled how as many you migration can, How many you can kill? Can I buy like automatic weapons and start shooting and have like fucking 3,000 geese dead? <laughs> well, let's see. How many can you... Keep. Throw a grenade that can kill fucking 15 on one shot. On a few. It says here there is no limit. Awesome. I'm there's, still bombing. There's no limit. You buy the tag and you have from September 1st to December 16th. You see the landing on a field? You grab this grenade launcher. First <laughs> of all, <laughs> and already like a, you can't just. Go to a store and buy grenade launchers. You make it. And there won't be any bird left for you to eat if you're going to use a fucking grenade launcher. Yeah, but the food going to be already no fur. They don't have fur to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Two fucking feathers. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be already fucking smoke. <laughs> yeah. The, you just grab it and eat. Yeah, I've heard from a lot of people, though, goose tastes like shit. Yeah, that's what I hear in San Francisco. <laughs> San Francisco, they really taste they the shit. They say, fuck, everything is shit, man. We're shitting on this island. We eat ghost steak like shit. Yeah. And the aliens say, we have a sandwich for you with ghost aliens meat. Yeah. You don't want the goose alien meat? No, let's talk about now something else. <coughs> What happened? Yeah, Vince McMahon. Yeah, now WWE boss accused of sex trafficking. It's fucking amazing. 
Yeah. This is getting better and better. So it says here, an ex-employee of World Wrestling Entertainment Chick. has accused the company's boss, Vince McMahon, of sexual trafficking her to entice wrestling talent. It says here, Janelle Grant said she was... Show me the picture. There's no fucking picture. You found it? God damn it, can I explain what the fuck is going on first? You can't explain nothing today. <laughs> no, you want pictures for an audio talk show. No, but the... Who... Audio no, no. talk show. No, no, I want a picture with the chick. No one gives a shit yeah, I what give she a looks shit. like. It's the most important. She was trafficked sexually. Yeah, so it says here, she, she was also sexually assaulted no kidding. at WWE Ooh. in a case filed at Connecticut District Court on Thursday. It says Mr. McMahon's spokesperson said the case was uh, complete with lies. His client would vigorously defend himself. In 2022, he stepped back as WWE chairman and CEO. And yeah, because he was accused again. Yeah, of sexual misconduct claims. Something. Yeah, yeah. Remember fucking bullshit. Yeah. Okay. He was restrained. Yeah. Re resin. The guy fucking have to fuck everybody. No, unbelievable. Yeah. It says here, WWE is the world's largest and best known wrestling company. Last week, it signed a deal with Netflix to allow pro wrestling's most popular weekly show... Monday Night Raw to be exclusively streamed from January 2025. The program has been shown on broadcast TV for around 31 years. In the new legal case, Mr. McMahon is named as a defendant along with WWE former head of talent John Laronitis. Former WWE employee Janelle Grant accuses them both of Trafficking her to other men as a sexual pawn to entice world-famous wrestling talents. She said she was pressured into a physical relationship with a WWE chief executive in exchange for promises of employment, alleging she felt trapped in an impossible situation submitting to Mr. McMahon's sexual demands or face, face ruin. She also was unemployed at the time and dealing with her deceased parents' bankruptcy. Oh. According to legal cases, Ms. Grant went on to work at WWE headquarters in Connecticut between 2019 and 2022. She accuses Mr. McMahon of recruiting individuals, including John Laronitis, to have sexual relationships with her during that time. He expected and directed Miss Grant to engage in sexual activities at the WWE headquarters, even during working hours in the case. She also accused both defendants of sexual assault, assaulting her at WWE headquarters in June of 2021. The BBC could not reach Mr. Laurinaitis for comments, and he did not respond to a request from the Wall Street Journal to comment on Thursday. It says here that Miss Grant allegedly alleges Mr. McMahon pressured her into resigning from resigning from WWE and signing a non-disclosing agreement in NDA for a lump sum of three million dollars after his wife found out about their relationship in 2022. That's crazy to me. He gave the girl an NDA. He's like, I'm gonna give you three million dollars. Sorry for the inconvenience. I didn't mean to do this to you. We could part our ways. And here's $3 million. And that woman said yes. Okay, I'm going to take the $3 million. And then he raped her again. No, and then now that the NDA is up, like there's always like expiry dates for NDAs. Now she's publicly attacking him. And she's like, okay, I'm going to try to get like $100 million out of him. Or $50 yeah, sure. million. Yeah, sure. Fuck a penis. Which is fine. No. Is this, this uh, what do you call it? Destruction? No. Destruction? No, the other word for like take the money from you somehow. Well, she already took three million. Yeah, but what do you call this? Uh, the word. Like blackmail? Blackmail, but different. Destra. 
Yeah, destroy. No, it's the war. All aliens. No, it's from the, making monkey the sandwiches. Sergio? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't deserve them. No, <laughs> no deserving. What is it called? Is it war of, uh, Somebody wants money from you. What yeah. You the, yeah. What is, Paycheck. No. <laughs> what do you have to do? Destruct. You don't know shit. What? You're talking like you know something. But and I, you're calling me the idiot because I can't understand you. Because you fucking don't know what you're talking about. Because I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> That's Vince McMahon's defense. Judge, I'm fucking old, goddammit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fucking... I'm 75 years old taking... Okay, I'm gonna all make a new all, deal. Yeah. Netflix, three million dollars, and a monkey space sandwich. Yeah. So yeah, that's what it is cooking. So, the Ravens gonna win Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Canadian Gooses, you can shoot whatever you want from September to December. E yeah. And if you're shooting beside this, it's $5,000 per goose. Per goose, yeah. And um, yeah. Imagine some rich motherfucker going crazy and goes, like, I have so much money, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and then just went somewhere and was like, I'll just kill these gooses and pay for each goose 5000 Fuck it. You think there's people out there like that? Yeah. Those are the cat people. No, but there's always you have to think about other people who don't like what you're doing. Okay. So for you shooting these gooses, they're going to shoot you for shooting them. And you have, no matter how much money... The goose like, is going to shoot you? No, no. The people who love gooses... There's people who love oh, gooses. Oh, big time. I love any animal. Every animal. You ever... don't even know what a goose is. You said it was a duck. No, we have a gooses in our parking always marching. Yeah. That's what I see. And they're shitting on my car all the time. I know them. Yeah. So, but I'm not mad. No. They're always hitting white cars. They never hit the black cars. <laughs> yeah. So how they landing, they must see it. White is good. Well, because their shit is white, so they see. No, if I shit add is like green. If I add white to white, <clears throat> then, no. then it's right. No, the shit is green, and it's fucking like a horse shit, something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, so you look at you examine the goose. Holy shit. fuck! How they bombing or fucking like aliens? We have to ducking how they landing and going uh -huh. above, and they show like the shit, and you see it. <laughs> Holy. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I say, oh, fucking awesome, I'm gonna have to watch cut again, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, yeah, so, uh, like I said, peace and love to every goose. To every goose, yeah. Yeah, we have a whistle goose, we have a... Yeah. This the, We were talking about ducks, but... Yeah, but you can have a good whistle goose, too. The, a whistle goose? We're gonna look up a whistle goose? A whistle... Whistle, whistle. Goose. Yeah, see? And right away, pictures. Whistle this. I typed in hoose by accident. <laughs> whistle moose. Yeah, wh Whistle Goose is a pub located in Sutton Fields, United Kingdom. That's right. Open from 11 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Where the people uh, dress up like cats and fucking shitting on the sidewalk. It says here it's a traditional British pub. Showing sports on TV with familiar menu of grills and global comfort food. The Whistling Goose. Nice. It's got 3.7 star rating. Awesome. Yeah. Located in Sutton Fields, United Kingdom. You tell me somebody have already Whistle Goose? <laughs> yeah, that's the name of the bar. Whistle Goose. Yeah. In the United Kingdom. Awesome. You want to see what kind of food they got? There are probably some gooses on the roast. Maybe. Probably. Let's see they eat the shit over there. You said it tastes like shit. So eat some shit. Yeah. Hmm. 
But yeah. Well, what is it for? It says here they have uh, <laughs> bar games as well. Sorry, Jesus fucking screaming. What's no, the phone? You said you're gonna tell me I'm before gonna tell and you. you say oh, yeah, wow. Okay, what is the like, whistle well, goose? What the got? fuck is going on in this beef thing? lasagna? Awesome ghost. <laughs> fully loaded chicken strips. No ghost meat? Chip shop curry chicken strips. Oh no ghost? Chicken tikka. Can you read something with ghost? This is in the Whistling Goose. No, but they know have nothing with goose? From what I see, no. Whoa, fuck, I don't go to there. Mushroom and ale pie. Ooh, that sounds gross. Ale pie? Yeah, like beer. Ale pie is beer? Like ale. A-L-E. Ale. Oh, That's it? what we're drinking. A IPA. It's an Indian pale ale. It's a beer. Beer. Yes. Jesus Christ, I don't know nothing. <laughs> A rump steak? Rump steak? Yeah, they take it from the cow's ass. Oh. Cool cow. And then they have like your basic chicken wings. Uh, chick and mix combo. Uh, rib asaurus challenge. Ooh, a rib asaurus challenge. Okay. Maybe we should go there and do the rib asaurus challenge. Burgers. Flame grilled cheeseburger, beef burger, cheese and bacon burger, chicken burger, all American chicken burger, chickpea red pea burger, Bombay bird. Oh, Bombay bird. Yeah. What is Bombay bird? I don't fucking know. Check, where is that? Like from Bombay? I'm trying to zoom in on that's the descriptions, but I can't. No, Bombay, see it. that's like Indian some beer. Yeah, that's the number one food eaten in the United Kingdom, is Indian food. What? Yeah. Why do they eat Indian food? Because they have a lot of Indians that live there. Yeah, I know, but why and this? They why just they, make good food. What about English people don't make good food? They, go whistle, they make good food. Whistle duck or something? Yeah, whistle duck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What the Top fuck? food in England. Number one is roast chicken. From Costco. <laughs> Number two is chips. Rattles. <laughs> Three is fish and chips. Oh, that's nice. Four is English breakfast. What is English breakfast? Like you get like eggs? beans. They put beans with your eggs. But that's what tea I eat. Yeah, it makes you like poop. No, she liked this. She says it tastes good. The beans? Yeah, she put the beans in uh, rice. Okay. I and mean, eat for breakfast. It also says here mashed potatoes. Oh, that's delicious. Soup. Oh, that depends what soup. Bangers and mash. Banger and mash? Yeah. The like bangers tiger? No, ba bangers and mash. It's... Yeah, what is the bangers? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a banger. Yeah, but bang banger. <laughs> it's bangers tigers. Yeah. And what is the bangers without tiger? What is that? No, thing? banger. Bang banger and mash. Oh, you banging go and mash? No, you fuck the mashed potatoes. And you banging go? Yeah, and the roast beef is number eight. Oh, Here, we eight. can look it up. Banger mash? <laughs> and mash. What does it look like? Show the picture. Oh, they put sausage on mashed potatoes. That's what it looks like. I don't see nothing used to that. You see it, you fucking idiot. No, I can see it. It's the That's the sausage. No, but there. I can see. Holy can you put fuck. this light? You're such a retard, can man. You, no. fucking oh my god, now you can see it, finally. Oh, that sausage on the pancakes? On mashed potatoes. Like a flat mashed potato, fry. No, Is, it doesn't look like that. It looks like that. It says, bangers and mash with onion gravy recipe. Ooh, that's not delicious. Yeah, it's basically a couple of wieners yeah. with peas and mashed potato mm -hmm. with gravy. Ooh. Yeah. See, now you can see everything. Fuck. Before, like, whoa. Stop the clock. <laughs> yeah, bangers and mash. That's nice. Who well, doesn't want a thick, steamy wiener on mashed potatoes? Yeah. Yeah. Like aliens. Alien wiener, yeah. Great space bucket. <laughs> 
I gotta give you We're <laughs> gonna check you on the other side. He loves me. I'm like, what is that? Space monkey. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna bomb your fucking bank in Sweden. <laughs> yeah. I give you money. And you, for this money, you build up the ship. And you always gonna think it's aliens, but this you gonna fly this ship. Yeah. Pretend to be. Jeez, you almost took yourself out. <laughs> <laughs>